Welcome back Flutter developers. Welcome to my channel about Flutter. In last video, we talked about how we can use animated container to animate an image for different variations of curves. In this video, we will see how we can use animated positioned widget in uh, animating the image of the same case I'm taking as we took at the last time. So let's get started. So my article is published on my blog as usual. And again, we will be using the anim curves that, we, uh, that I showed you in the last video as well. So these are the different curves just for the review that we will be bouncing uh, or uh, exploring uh, for uh, changing the different uh, animations. Uh, so it's very similar to what we talked uh, last time, like a container. Uh, the only difference is the positioned uh, widget in general goes inside a stack. In animated container, we put that one inside a container. So let's go back to the code. So this is my container. And in container, we used the, we put everything inside a column right here. As, as you can see, it's, it's inside a column. But in positioned, we actually put it inside a stack because position needs to be uh, gone under a stack. Uh, so, uh, so what? How? What's different then? So let's see. It's the very same. So we have drop down menu and the play animation at the top, and we go back to our uh, code recipe app, and we go to the position widget right here. So this drop down and this is the animate button. So when we animate, it changes its position. So depending on the position, so in linear, it just goes linear. But if we have ESIN, they have like a cubic that we talked about last time. These are the coordinates of starting, X and Y coordinate of starting position and X and Y coordinate of the ending or destination position. And here is a description about what this curves or the animation type will look like. So in this particular case, it's a cubic animation curve that starts slowly and ends quickly. So there you go. Uh, so in here, the structure of the code is very simple. And all we are doing is putting an animated positioned widget. And if we go inside, it's and the selected, as we talked uh, already last time, the selected is just to change the position um, uh, the position of the widget. So here, width and height actually defines the position of your uh, positioned widget. So it, it's very similar to container, but in this case, we call it the position. So, and it happens, the change of position happens over the course of two seconds, and again, depending on the existing curve. And uh, the child is the image in this case, as, as last time as well. And uh, so what the animate does is it just toggles the selected button. All right. So uh, yeah, so it was, it was very quick actually. Uh, so uh, let's see. So let's play around a few, few uh, different um, curves. So in this ease in cubic, what it does is it actually starts slowly and ends quickly. And uh, and in the selected, so you can also do it uh, by clicking on it as well. And so it always toggles. So if it was smaller, the size of the widget, it will become bigger next time. So it totally is controlled by here. And last but not least, this animated position uh, widget can also uh, can only be uh, used inside a stateful widget, not the stateless, because we need to make use of this selected or a variable which where we need to update its new width and new height and new position. And that can, can only be happen in a stateful widget because it's rebuilt every time it, it, its value is changed. So uh, that's the only thing to keep in mind. And uh, so that that's, uh, 
with that, we'll wrap up the animate, uh, animated position widget. And in next video, we will be talking about the animated padding widget provided by Flutter SDK. So, till then, uh, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.